A cordial greeting. Today is Thursday, July 23, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. For several days now, the Atlantic has remained quiet, with no cyclonic formation, although in recent days we have been closely monitoring the progress of Invest 94, which no longer has any chance of cyclonic development due to dry air and wind shear affecting the low pressure as it approaches the Lesser Antilles arc. And during the next week, we will be paying attention to another tropical wave that has just left Africa and which could also find marginally favorable conditions for development. And although this area has not been marked by the National Hurricane Center with probabilities of development, we will be monitoring it because conditions may be a bit more favorable than what Invest 94 had. This afternoon I will record another video to give details about this next tropical wave. However, during this morning I would like to focus on the area of the northern Gulf of Mexico and towards the southeast of the United States, where we have a low probability of any tropical cyclone forming during the next 7 to 14 days. In fact, NOAA's Climate Prediction Center has marked this area with over a 20% chance of cyclonic development between July 30 and August 5. And in this area, we currently have some trough systems and remnants of cold fronts that could lead to the development of some low pressures with chances of cyclonic development. Additionally, remember that the waters north of the Gulf of Mexico are very warm, between 30 and 31 degrees Celsius, and any low pressure moving through the area may have some type of cyclonic organization. And precisely, the National Hurricane Center has marked a trough system located northeast of Florida, which will be moving toward the Gulf of Mexico waters over the next few days. At the moment, there is a 10% chance of cyclonic development towards the south of Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, and eastern Texas over the next seven days, and we will be watching to see if a tropical depression or tropical storm forms. Remember that the next name on the list of storms would be Tropical Storm Dexter, but at least we can already tell you that any cyclonic development in this area will be quite slow, and for now, no strong system is expected to develop. If we look at the latest projections from the global models, here we have the American model, which during the night hours of Friday has a defined low pressure moving over southern Texas. However, it does not develop a tropical depression before moving over land. We also have the projection of the European model which also has a fairly defined low pressure towards southern Louisiana during Friday afternoon, and eventually moves over land without developing a tropical cyclone. In addition, the German model also has a defined low pressure south of Louisiana during Friday afternoon, and due to its proximity to land, it does not become a tropical cyclone. And exactly the same is seen in the United Kingdom model, which has below normal pressures south of Louisiana, but also does not develop a tropical cyclone. So, for this reason, it is quite evident why at the moment the National Hurricane Center maintains only a 10% probability of development over the next seven days, and this matches very well with the projections of the American Model Ensemble, in which only one member develops a tropical depression. And compared to the ensemble members of the European Model, in this case, between 15 and 20% of them perhaps develop a tropical depression or tropical storm before entering over southern Louisiana or eastern Texas. But notice that those that do develop a tropical cyclone keep it quite weak so the development of a weak tropical depression or tropical storm in this area should not represent a significant risk for Louisiana or Texas. So, for now, what is expected are a few rainy days, first for the state of Florida, where between 1 to 3 inches of rain could accumulate over the next 72 hours, and by the end of this week, the rain will move over sectors of the northern Gulf of Mexico, affecting the Florida panhandle and coastal sectors of Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. The European model projects that between 2 to 3 inches of rain could accumulate over the next 5 days. I will continue to monitor the evolution of this trough and any low pressure that develops toward the south and southeast of the United States. Meanwhile, in the next video, I will talk about the next tropical wave that could possibly be marked with development probabilities by the National Hurricane Center. With this, I say goodbye. But before that, I wanted to invite you to like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you receive notifications when I record new videos. I hope you all have an excellent day. Until next time.